This video will show you how you can add background colors or images to your final renders using the compositor. So hello and welcome to Gabbit Media, I'm Grant Abbott and this video is part of a series I'm doing on the compositor. Check the playlist in the description for more about that. Also you'll probably want to see the first video which gives you a good introduction to the compositor. If you like what I do then check out my website or the links in the description for more great content and courses. So I've got my Deadpool character here, this will work for any object you have in your scene. If you want to learn how to make Deadpool then check the links in the description. He actually animates as well with a simple idle animation there. Now I'll take away the ground for this. If you want to know how to do shadows on the ground like that then check the link in the description for my shadow catcher tutorial which I will be updating because you can now do that in the compositor in Blender 3.0. Now in order for this to work you must have a transparent background like this. I'm in cycles but this will work in Eevee as well. Make sure you're on the render properties. Scroll down to where it says film and make sure transparent is ticked. If it's not you'll see the background, in my case an HDRI. If it's ticked we'll get this checkered background which is an alpha channel. So let's go across to compositing and you should see something like this. If not just make sure use nodes is ticked and if you can't see your nodes tap the home key and that will frame them. But at the moment I can't see my background. Before you can do any compositing you must render your image. So I'll press F12 to render. There's my Deadpool character with the transparent background. I can now close this down and I want to bring this into the background. And you'd think I'd be able to just click backdrop. That does actually show me my image but it doesn't give me my Deadpool in the background which is what I want to see. Now for the next bit you'll want the Node Wrangler installed. That will help tremendously. Go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, type in Node and make sure Node Wrangler is ticked. Close that down. What I can now do is hold down Control, Shift and left click on this and that will bring up my Viewer node. Make sure my backdrop is ticked and there's Deadpool with the transparent background. Without the Node Wrangler you'll have to find the Viewer node which is a bit of a pain. I'll just bring that down there. Now in order to change the color of the background I'll need a Mix node. So Shift A to add. You can search for it up here but it's actually under Color and then Mix. I'll put that into my viewer node for now and instantly it turns white. That's because our factor is all the way up to 1 and the factor controls the mix between this image and this image. So this is our main image coming in here and this image at the moment is just white and I can change this to red or green or whatever color I like. If I bring the factor down to 0 then I can see my Deadpool image which is there. So a factor of 0 is the top, a factor of 1 is the bottom and what I can use is my alpha to control this factor. If I hold down Control, Shift and left click the rendered image again and do it twice, the viewer node will be plugged into my alpha channel. So we can see what that alpha channel looks like going into the viewer node. It's white for Deadpool and black for the background. So when I plug the alpha into the factor, anything that's white will be a factor of 1, so it will be the bottom. Anything black will be a factor of 0, so it will be the top. So when I grab my alpha and plug it into the factor, and then Control shift left click on the mix node, so that goes into my viewer now. It's doing exactly that. White is the bottom image, black is the top, so I want this image to be in the bottom, and then we'll see Deadpool, and then we'll see the top, which is now white, being my background. And again, I can change this to whatever color I want. We can also add an image into here, so Shift A to add, we need a new node, input, and then image, and I can bring that into there, plug my image into the top, we don't see anything because there's no image in here at the moment. I can open up a random image. I'll just go to my downloads and open this one up. And there we have it, an image in the background. Now we don't actually have to render our image out again. I'll just bring this up slightly and change the bottom dope sheet across to the image editor. And then in the drop down I can choose the rendered result. And we can't see our rendered result at the moment. That's because the composite here, so this is looking for the composite here, hasn't actually got this plugged in yet. So we need to go from the image to this image here and we can then see our background. Now interestingly my image doesn't actually cover the whole background. So before I put it into my mix node I need to scale it. I can press Shift A and under the distort menu we have scale. Remember you can just search scale up here and that will bring in your scale node. So between this image and the mix node I can bring in the scale node and maybe 1.2 or something might do it. There we go and a little bit more in the Y, 1.1, just to get rid of that white bar at the bottom. And now I have my background image into the scale, into the mix, into the compositor. And I can then image and save my image here. Okay, so that's background colors and images using the compositor. Thanks for watching, and I hope that helps.